Welcome everyone. Today we're having a quick look at a few locking versions of the commonly used IC13 power connector. This is the standard one. You probably have used it with your computer, laptop, or similar high power devices. You have the Sonit Z or C lock. This one has a locking end on both sides. And the Skullmore IC lock. This is the IC Plus, which has those pull tabs at the end. This is a rewirable one that you can put on the cord. For example, this one has a power con on the end. So the difference between them is that the normal one, you plug it in, fits well, but you have the risk of it coming loose if someone were to pull on the cord or if this shakes during transport, which you don't want with your crucial, for example, this is a switch version. So the difference now becomes a tab inside of here that clamps on to the grounding pin. So you pull it in and it's pretty much locked in. Won't shake loose and there's a lot of force needed if you want to try to force it open. But pull the tabs back, you can take it out as normal. The other end has a few tabs that come out. If I screw it in all the way, you might be able to see that small plastic tab in the back. So you put in the connector, screw it in, and it should then clamp on to the connector itself. So it's pretty hard. You can force it open, but it won't wiggle out like the standard one does. Same type with the uh, IC Lock Plus. Plug it in, you might see those tabs go back a bit. Here a bit of click, and now it's locked in until you pull those back and you can release it. These do come in angled versions. The Z Lock has a C15, so the one that has a small nub at the end, and the C19, the bigger one. You also, with the IC lock, have locking outlets that you can put into devices. So that was a quick look at a few power connectors that you can use to secure your equipment. And have a great day.